NBC uh, has said that they are chopping Jay Leno's pay by 50% as part of wider budget cuts. And we do have now Christopher Stewart on set to talk to us about this. Uh, thank you for joining us. Sure. So this is, you know, seems like a pretty big pay cut, but then I read that he's still getting 15 million, so I'm not going to get out my, my tiny violin quite yet. <laughs> um, it, it, but what's, what's been going on here behind these major cuts? Well, it, the, the reason for the cuts, um, uh, well, it dates back to about 2000, 2009 when the Leno show was moved to primetime. Moved to primetime, they increased the budget to primetime levels. Uh, so when they bumped it back, to its 1135 spot, they didn't change the budget. So now the you know NBC has been having some difficulties with its prime time. It hemorrhages hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and so it's just they're you know bringing the budget back to its late night uh, budget and uh, trying to reduce some of the some money. Going so out. not completely unexpected then. On this no, part. not totally unexpected. Letterman did it about two, in 2000. Uh, did it a few years ago as well. Uh, some staffers were let go. Budget decreased. So, you know, a similar thing is going on at NBC. And then we've actually got a, a bit of tape that we're going to point to that actually Leno has, has said that he finds this pretty funny. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at that. Welcome to the Tonight Show, or as uh, Comcast calls us, the Expendables. That's right. As you may have heard, our parent company has downsized the Tonight Show. You know, and we've consistently been number one in the ratings, and if you know anything about our network, that kind of thing is frowned upon. <laughs> Now, what does this mean for the, the late night TV scene in general? Have they, they seen some problems in recent years? Late night TV in general has been in decline for, and uh, broadcast has been in decline for a little while now. I mean, you have, you know, you have competition from the web, you have competition from, you know, cable shows like Jon Stewart and, and Stephen Colbert. Um, but as he pointed out, uh, he is still the, the king of, of late night. He's by far, I'm by far the number one um, at, uh, at that hour. And know, any sense for the viewers, are we going to see any differences in terms of the program quality, any, anything from these budget cuts going on? Well, it'll be interesting to see uh, ABC just moved Jimmy Kimmel um, to uh, compete head-on with uh, Letterman and Jay Leno uh, starting in January. So, you know, he has, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see what sort of audience, you know, he brings to, to his show uh, at that 1135 spot, you know, what sort of audience it takes away from Leno. Um, and Letterman, and so it'll be a fun war to watch uh, at late night. And are these shows still fighting with the DVR? Or are, are we all going to bed earlier and not watching them too? Is that a, that a problem? Yeah, I mean DVR is a problem for for uh, is is an issue that you know everybody's you know grappling with. It's not one that's certainly going to go away anytime soon.